All right, folks, uh, gadget of the day is a 1980s uh, HP brand Etch-a-Sketch-Em. Uh, let me grab my uh, third hand here and show you how it operates. So, uh, magic trick there, but... Uh, yeah, so we got this uh, crazy pulley arrangement which moves both uh, pulls on both sides simultaneously so that it moves equally. It's got a, a ground uh, precision rod on the on that side. Uh, it's hard to see up under here, but this piece of aluminum is just a, a rail with a, a plastic wheel. <laughs> Not really precision or guided at all, so we got one precision, no weeble wobble alignment device, and one just good enough. Uh, and uh, I hadn't taken this thing apart, but I suspect since it's kind of that a ways, it probably didn't have too much going on there. Just one uh, one aligning device because it's so narrow. This is the uh, the pin holder. If you want to turn on the right and right, no right, right, no right. And uh, you activate the time base. So let's say I was over here and I had a piece of paper in it, which I'll, I'll uh, try to put a, a picture up on the Instas or the Gram, uh, one or the other, uh, with the, uh, the paper device over here. It's uh, interesting, high voltage, what you call it. But uh, when you would normally use this to record a chart, you would say, all right, I'm going to start my measurement. Let me zero everything out to zero on my uh, graph paper. And you would you put it in time based mode and you'd say reset it puts the pin down and it moves and it moves the amount of time you tell it to so I say uh, hit seconds per centimeter 1.1 half a second per centimeter you know and so on and so forth if I hit 50 seconds per centimeter I think it's 15 minutes or 16 you know point something or, or whatever metric time is uh, but uh, yeah that'll uh, graph it, but it, it moves pretty swift. I did discover there's an interesting chewy spot in here. I'm trying not to think about all the high voltage in those big old capacitors. Yeah, if you get it right here, it just like, it's ghost power. It just floats around by itself. I don't know if it's, uh, this is uh, analog servo driven with some kind of position feedback, so it could be dirt on the I'm guessing it's probably a, a resistive slider or some other device to measure position. So it could be that it's got dirt on the slider. When it hits the dirt, the measurement jumps and it makes that thing leap over. So I'll see if I can take it apart. Actually, it was worse than this when I was first doing it. If you set it in that kind of ghost moving area, yeah, it would, it would go all over the place. So this is uh, calming down. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to clean that out somehow. But pretty cool. It's all analog. It uses uh, uh, theoretically you do one one voltage and then the time, or you can do uh, two voltage inputs. So say you had some kind of reference driving your circuit, you could graph the circuit behavior based off your input. Um, they made some cool devices for this, like a big old electronics box. Uh, if you'd never you can't imagine it looks something like this but turned sideways and it's called a logarithmic converter that would take the inputs and do an analog electronic logarithm and so it would graph on logarithmic paper the logarithm of the input so uh, you yeah, don't think about that too hard probably uh, take some calculus so don't worry about it uh, so let's turn this feller off. I haven't figured out all the calibrations. Uh, I got the uh, manual online, of course, everyone does. Um, and I gotta make sure it all checks out because I got a cool project in mind.